and enjoy a meal together. You see I'm Batov uh, right there in the middle of your screen, Scott Kelly uh, with the glasses uh, talking, uh, the commander of the International Space Station, Mogensen on the left in the background, Mikhail Kornienko, who was Kelly's uh, one-year crewmate on board the station. On the far right, Gennady Padalka, the uh, off-going commander of the station, who again uh, will land uh, later today on the steppe of Kazakhstan, having accrued 879 days in space uh, on his five flights, including four as undocking confirmed. Put SSVP mode in work, and we confirm separation. So, goodbye station. We are in the sunrise, and uh, we're so illuminated that I can hardly see anything. Slava, do you copy? We do copy. Undocking occurring right on time at 4.29 p.m. So, Central. Uh, nothing but blackness, but... Uh, While the International Space Station flew 250 statute miles over yeah. eastern Mongolia. Uh, are the guys taking pictures? Right, so all that do copy, are you going to be taking pictures? And 10 days each uh, for Mogensen and Einbatov, uh, as you can see, now flying free of the International Space Station, having undocked on time just a few minutes ago at uh, 4.29 p.m. Central Time. See you ground. At And there you see touchdown, the soft landing engines uh, firing uh, right on schedule. Touchdown uh, confirmed at 7.51 and 36 seconds p.m. Central Time. Seven. And uh, as advertised, Gennady Padalka, the world's most experienced space traveler, first out of the Soyuz capsule, wrapping up 168 days in space uh, during expeditions 43 and 44, and uh, a total of 879 days in space on five flights. Kazakh president in Astana a few hours from now. All three crew members now out of the uh, Soyuz spacecraft, a mere 25 minutes after touchdown. Mogensen, uh, who along with Imbatov spent eight days on board the International Space Station,